Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-aged sword, penetrating to your soul and your spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Our viewers, we acknowledge your presence. Wherever you are watching us from, we thank God that you are there. Those who are watching us on Top Star Channel 112, Facebook, YouTube, we thank God. Our brothers and sisters outside Zambia, thank you for being there for us and we are here for you. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 11. Verse uh, 21. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, take care yourself. Say it again. Yes. People of God going to church every Sunday or coming to church every week is a blessing to you yourself not to the church, I mean not to the membership of the church. What do I mean by saying that? Because worshiping God is the reason why you are there. God created you for his own purpose so that he can show and display his glory through you. There are people who are being frustrated by the happens of this world. Don't forget that salvation is personal. Being frustrated by the things that you see or hear doesn't pay you anything apart from giving more room to Satan to destroy you. There are people who could not go to church anymore. Why? They have a reason. But that reason cannot be justified when you appeared before the judgment of the day. God created you for his own good purpose, not because of what you are facing. Praise the Lord. Let's go to verse 21. When I say take care of yourself, you need to handle your weakness. Work on that things Satan is using to fight you back and capture you again. 21. When a strong man fully harmed guards his own house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armor in which the man trust, trusted and divides up his plunders. 23. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. This is Jesus talking to you. 24. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through a place searching or seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. This is the confession of something which is, I mean, left your body. 
Now, in search of, you know, a place where to rest again, it couldn't find any place. Then this thing will remember that, oh, the house that I left. And for the evil spirit to think like that about your life, is looking at your weakness. For it to get back to that position, he will not just come and enter your body. He will look at your weakness. Praise the Lord. Verse 25. When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean and put in order. Because you receive deliverance, all the bad things which was there before, through that deliverance, is out of your body. Now, when this evil spirit comes back, it finds the house very clean and in order. All those things that were there were cast out with the evil. Now it has come back. It will just, you know, look at you at a distance. Listen to this one now. Verse 26. Then it goes and takes seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. Let me conclude by adding 27. As Jesus was saying these things, a woman in the crowd called out, Blessed is the woman who gave birth to you and nursed you. He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Praise the Lord. Let's go to 21. When a strong man, fully harmed, guards his own house and its possession are safe. I hope you understand this. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, it takes away the armor in which the man trusted and divides up his plunders. I am a strong person. That's what you say. I am a child of God. You need to take care of your house. Which one is your house? Your heart, of course. There is no way you can say you are strong enough to protect yourself. There is someone who is more stronger than you. I mean, when it comes to spiritual life, there is no human being who is very strong or stronger than the evil spirit. Not until when you allow Jesus to occupy your life, there you become what? Stronger, more than evil spirit. In this case, Jesus was giving this example to open the minds of his followers. That if you think that you are strong enough, physically, Satan is stronger than you, spiritually. You can blag and say, I can protect myself, I have put offense, I have done this and that. Quite okay, what you have done physically is perfect. But the when this person who is more stronger than you attacks you and overpower you, he will plunder everything and take away your resources. What you trusted will be taken away from you. Are you there, people of God? This is why no one is stronger physically more than your enemy. It is only Jesus. If Jesus settled in your body, yes, you can say, I am safe. Listen to verse 23 now. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. This is Jesus now. Opening your understanding. As long as you are not with Jesus, you are against Jesus. And what you are doing, 
You are destroying what Jesus wants you not to gather. The first thing to destroy is your life. Come on, people of God. The first thing that to destroy is your what? Is your life. If you are not with Jesus, I am not saying um, uh, you, you are insulting. No. Even if you, are, you don't even drink beer. You don't even fight people. But as long as you are not with Jesus, you are against Jesus. Because Satan can use you at any time to destroy yourself. This is what Jesus was, you know, uh, telling his people. As long as you are not with Jesus, you are against Jesus. As long as you are not helping Jesus to gather, you are there to scatter. And the first thing that you are going to scatter is your life. Before you start, you know, affecting others. No one can stand with, you know, physical strength to defeat Satan. No, you work for Satan without Jesus. Come on. Are you listening to this? I'm, I'm just laying a foundation so that when we stand for prayer, you know where to touch. Praise the Lord. This is 24 now. When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through a places, seeking for a place to settle. We are talking about deliverance. Children of God, if you don't know this, there are two things you need to understand as a believer. If you are possessed, there is a spirit inside your body, and that spirit destroy you or kill you. You are going to hell. But if you are sick and you are a child of God and you, you know, through that sickness you leave this world, you go to heaven. You understand this? That is the difference. This is why we need deliverance. When you are possessed, you belong to that things that possess your life. Simply means the thing inside you has come to take you. But if you become sick and you leave this world, you are a child of God, the ambassador of Christ is there to take your what? Your soul. That's a difference. I know that you may not understand this. Because what can take you to hell is what is inside your what? This is why when the evil spirit comes out of your, your body, there will be less stress. They are looking for a, someone to enter again. Because their job is to take you to where? To hell. So this demon will go out and he start looking, you know, for somewhere to settle. If it cannot find anywhere, it will start now thinking about you. And for it to come back to you, they will use your weakness. This is why I was saying, take care yourself. No one can destroy you or stop you. Remember you were once a baby. Carried in our mother's what? Home. Nishta bai pa ireru dia luine. Ua le chingiri la ninani. Nilesa. Are you telling me that now you have become, you know, a, 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 a hot person or an adult? Why is this fear now gripping your heart? A baby. Tama manako baby ale angasha nangu scorpion. And the scorpion cannot bite a baby. Hmm? Even a snake, a baby can touch what? A snake. Go and touch a snake. You, go and touch it. The snake will bite you two times. Praise the Lord. So when these things goes out of your body, and it could not find a place to rest, it will come back to you. And the Bible says that, in chen devai sanga na itashani, na yuama. So, chidechua no mbaku tontonga nyokutato, uyumu ntumu kachumu taparicha ingiramo, mupashu wako alesa, tamuri. So, paku tingingi lenjika lenomba, kanje mfuaye haba kweti ya maka. Paku tiyebo bale kitashani, bale nching. Because when you are delivered, the spirit of God must enter your life. And fill that gap where the evil spirit was settled before. But in a situation whereby you are delivered, and you go back to that life, or maybe you may not even go back to drink or smoking, but 
you are nursing your weakness. The Spirit of God cannot enter your life. There will be a vacuum. And once that thing comes back, the Bible says that the condition of that person will be what? Worse. And when it comes like that, know for sure that uh, Satan will come now to do what? Because then the Bible says, as Jesus was saying these things, a woman in a crowd, just say, no, 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 no. Simple. Take care of yourself. No one can destroy you if you know you take care of yourself. What do I mean by saying that? Allow Jesus to occupy that house, a sacred house, so that when these things comes back to check on you, they will see the light. Take care of yourself. How possible is it that when you become, you know, a woman or a man, a witch can kill you? That is fear. It is only Jesus who can protect you. Because he is the only one who is stronger than anyone here on earth and beyond the earth. So take care of yourself. Stop living in fear or nursing your weakness. Satan cannot spare you again. He will take you. You are going. Mukalanda mwele sampe niko chance na imbi. Udi weka. Because le sa umfuanga di muisa. Tamasha ati kwa liwa kupepanga chaka lipa. Tamasha ati kwa liwa kupepa chaka lipa. Kwa liwa no kupepa lesa because na umutemua. Bambi nanguwa kwa tenda lama tawa kwa tenshita ya kuingira muisa. Mchech. Balaka na titu wa pangashita shuru pia. Every day church. Every day church. Look at you. But in the Chakaripa, you see them. <laughs> Why? Not because he wants to follow Jesus or she wants to follow. No, it's because of what? The condition. This opportunity that you have been given to enjoy your good health. Take advantage. Take advantage of this by making sure that you reject your weakness, you bury your past. Don't allow what came out of your body to come back again. It's dangerous. Mwale nwa, futi, mwaleka, mwariambo kunwa. Nishi mwale chetekela. Tibi ya mwaranis. Ehe. Mwaline kele fuaka, nishi mwale chetekela, ama kidinzi ya rionaika. Ipepo di abu muntudia, natuka pepa. Uwa suka ni nani? Nilesa. We feel that we are strong enough. No, you are not strong. You are not strong. Malire kero kuiba, futi na mwambo kuwele lamu. Bullet is going to enter your head. Aiko no kulo le shakuisa, kunuma. Mwaluka, mwaliluka po mwaria, timu afimina. Hmm? Timu afimina. Don't go back to that life again. Ngafia buera filia, tikesa itashani, tikesa mipaya. No, kui pepela palo ube. Mishe pepo kano fio munobi aku pepela, taula alwala. Are you sure you are strong enough? Because you cannot, as long as you are possessed, you cannot deliver yourself. Okay, if you are sick, yes, without the evil spirit, you can pray. But if the evil spirit is there, you need deliverance. These two things, deliverance, prophets, a thing to to let kabilo kukwata, because even when you receive prophets, you, you go through what? 
deliverance. Let me end there. God bless you.